Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Wednesday, March the 22nd, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We're following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Praying with Commitment. We read from scripture, uh, from uh, Matthew chapter 10, chapter 6, verse 10. My apology. Got a little confused there. It says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And our main thought today is your prayers make a difference. Matthew 6, verse 10 literally says, Whatever you wish to have happen, let it happen immediately. As your will is done in heaven, so let it be done on earth. That's a prayer of active commitment to God's will. Many people don't pray like that because they don't understand God's character. They think their prayers don't matter and that God will impose his will on them no matter what they do. They tend to pray with passive resignation, indifference, even resentment. I remember praying such a prayer after my freshman year in college. I was in a serious auto accident. The driver lost control of the car at about 75 miles per hour and it rolled several times before coming to a stop. I was thrown clear of the vehicle and ended up sliding down the highway on my backside for about 100 yards. I lost a lot of skin and had some third degree burns and other injuries. But fortunately I didn't break any bones. I was conscious during the entire ordeal and vividly remember thinking, all right, God, if you're going to fight this way, I give up. I can't handle this. You see, I knew God was calling me into the ministry, but I'd been focusing my life in another direction. I think God used that experience to get my attention and my prayer of passive resignation soon turned to active commitment as he refined my heart and drew me to himself. Perhaps God has dealt severely with you too. If so, it's only because he loves you and wants to produce the fruit of righteousness in you, as it says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. Don't despise his chastising, and don't be fatalistic or resentful in your prayers. God's prayers make a di- Godly prayers make a difference. James chapter 5, verse 16 says that. So commit yourself to praying expectantly, knowing that God is gracious and wise and always responds for his glory and your highest good. Dear friends, thank you for taking a bit of time today to listen to this devotional reflection. I've recorded Pastor MacArthur's suggestions for prayer and also for further study in the description portion of this video, and I I strongly urge you to take the time and do those prayers and do the reading and just consider these truths so that you can follow the Lord Jesus Christ even closer in these days. And until we are able to be together again to uh, reflect on another devotional idea, devotional truth from scripture, and I pray for you that'll be tomorrow, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom. Shalom.